welcome back to my youtube channel i am rohit today we'll talk about the discovery and how we can quick discover the our system uh, you know that the, using the discovery we can discover the ci asset software all those stuffs so for that we definitely need a mid server so to, to discover anything the very first thing is that you need to be uh, install the mid server so if you have not guys uh, know that how to do the how to install the mid server you can check the video in my video descriptions or you can check the video in uh, in this uh, playlist so now we'll talk about the discovery to discovery or to discover any ci or asset we use the discovery uh, to start with the discovery you should first go to the uh, your high portal and activate that uh, discovery plugin i in in my demo instance i go to the developers.servicenow.com and activate the discovery plugins from there only if you like my video or if you like my content please like subscribe and share your colleagues so let's without wasting time let's get started the discovery module if you go back to here and if you click the mid server in this mid server if you click the server your server should be uh, status should be up and the validate should be yes so then only you will be able to start discovering the ci so very first thing is that your mid server should be up and running and it should be validated now if you type the discovery you should be able to see this module called discovery this module will actually discover uh, using this module we will actually do all the discovery uh, works okay now um, what we have to do we have to actually create the credential so if i install this mid server in one of my uh, windows systems uh, you can install this mid server in windows or linux any of these systems and this is right now installed in jetbook are uh, dealing jetbook there it is installed now you need to create a credentials so go back to this credential module under this discovery and create a new credential so once you click here the credential and click new uh, you will be able to see the very um, uh, multiple types of credentials our case we are going to uh create a credential called windows credential i'll click the windows credential now here you should type the name call i'll put the name something like that and here where it is applied in your case it will be all mid server or you can define the for the specific mid server now i'll put my username and here i'll put my password once you put username and password just save that so your credential is saved now click test credential once you click credentials your test credential you will be able to see this one target target is nothing but your host ip address so let's go back to your mid server again actually on which uh, on or what server you want to discover so if you open this mid server i want i don't have the network so i only install in my windows system and if you see my windows systems have ip address called 192.168.0.17 so i will go here click the trace credential and put this is my target one and here my port number and here my uh, mid server name and then click ok so now you can see it is saying that credential validated and you just need to simply click ok so your credential is validated and our windows credential name is the windows local now again going back to the discovery module Uh, in this discovery module what we have to do here we have to create a discovery schedule so here i'll click simply new and then i will select the uh, i'll create a discovery schedule now here i have to define that 
which uh, uh, the name I will put that uh, discover local something like that because I don't have local uh, I don't have the network here you have to define that which types of discovery you are discovering the CI you are discovering to uh, cloud application network IP address our case is the configuration item here you need to define the uh, the mid server our case is the mid server is only one we will select that mid server and then click save now in the right side if you see here uh, it's saying that when this discovery should be run it's mentioning in this on demand like whenever we manually click the discover now then only it will be discover discover otherwise you can select the daily and select the time on which time it should be uh, run so that you can define so let it be as on demand now here in this discovery IP range we need to create a range right from which IP from which IP to which IP I want to um, uh, do the discovery so what I'll do I'll put the default and then starting address is I'll put that um, 168 0 to 200 so I should be able to discover till 200 and in that case in between my IP will, uh, my uh, asset will be discovered my CI will be discovered once this I uh, once this uh, IP range is set so this is our IP range 196 192.168.0.0 and now we just need to simply click discover now Once you click the discover now, it will be create one discovery status. From there, you will be able to check the status. So after some time, you will be able to see that it is saying that the discovery is completed. And here you can see uh, the CMDB CI. It is discovered this actual CI, uh, which is my computer. So if you it will open to the CMDB CI computer table. This is my computer name. This is the manufacturer and this is the Windows 10 home, uh, the OS version. And if you see, this is connected to the Wi-Fi. Uh, this is the storage devices. Uh, this is the file system and these are the software is installed. These are the processes is running right now. So basically these all these things are discovered from the discovery right now. And if you go back to this discovery, here is the discovery logs. And then if you click here, you will be able to see the discovery uh, page, how the, it's the discover. So if you see here, this is the 192.168.007. This is my discovery uh, actually IP addresses. And here you can see how these things are discovered. All these logs will be uh, showing here. We'll talk these things details. I just today show you that how you can quickly discover your system from the mid server. Thank you very much. Have a great day.